What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be working on some stuff on the 3800 swap and the wide body Fiero that are just a couple of little issues mostly self-inflicted. Um, so when I put these headers in I did not have new gaskets so I reused the header gaskets and of course now I've got an exhaust leak. Also in the back where it is flanged to hook onto the exhaust it was a uh, triangle three bolt flange it's two and a half inch pipe. Um, I didn't have another one to match to it so I just kind of welded to that for the time being knowing I wanted to fix it in the future. So I have a clamp and some pipe to fix that and then also the um, fuel lines run pretty close down on the side there to the uh, exhaust manifolds which they are wrapped but I also have some heat wrap to put on the exhaust pipe. So go over here to the workbench. We have a set of new gaskets. We have a two and a half inch V-band exhaust clamp that I want to put on the, uh, the header. I have one already on the crossover. This is for where the headers will meet the rest of the exhaust. And then this is, uh, this is some heat shrink, or not heat shrink, heat wrap with Velcro that I want to put around the fuel lines because I don't want this car to go full Fiero and burn to the ground on me. So we'll have to get this thing turned around and get it on the hoist and remove the headers again so I can put the new gaskets on it. Should have done it the right way the first time, but I didn't. So that's what happens when you get excited and just want to get the part on the car. Should have taken my time. Not always the best at that. So now I get to take it apart again to fix the exhaust leak that is getting worse and annoying me. Oh, also I had some stickers for the channel made. I'll put a uh, link down in the bio. Uh, my email address, if you want to email me, I was going to sell them five bucks shipped in the U.S. But that's what they turned out like. I think they look pretty good. So, if you're interested in one, just send me an email. I'll put that down in the, uh, down in the description and you can email me and I'll mail them out to you. Five bucks each. Might help support the build. Maybe then I can afford gaskets when I'm putting headers on the first time. Um, so yeah, let's fire up the time lapse and get this thing turned around and get it on the hoist and start tearing it apart. All right, so under the car here, you can see, see if I can get a good view of this. There's the flange. You can see that it's just one side. This side is welded right to it. I'm pretty sure that's a decent part of the leak. So I gotta figure out, I wanna cut this. I gotta decide what side I'm gonna cut it on. Probably cut this side and then uh, then I can get the manifold off and actually weld the V-band on it. And then if you look here, God, I can't get into this. These are the fuel lines right here. And there's probably, I don't know, an inch between them and the exhaust. And they are heat wrapped as well, but I would uh, like to make it a little nicer. So, yeah. I'll have to get this heat shield off. Looking at this, I might need to get a, another exhaust clamp for it and do another one in here somewhere. So there's a section here, then the rest of the exhaust. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Hmm. But yeah, I can tell you the exhaust leak is annoying. So this side will be a little easier to get to. I got to take the alternator loose to get the bolts off at the end, I believe. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. Maybe I don't. I don't remember. So yeah, I guess let's get started and I'll have to really figure out what it is I want to do with the uh, the exhaust because I've only got the one B band. I'll have to give it some thought. So let's get these off of here. All right, now that I got this heat shield off of here, you can see how close that is. These are the fuel lines. Obviously this is exhaust. So you can see why I want to wrap those. Cause that's a little too close and I really don't want this thing to go full Fiero and burn to the ground. So yeah, and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with this exhaust Obviously take this manifold off. I think I'm going to cut this like here. And then here I will cut this off and I will weld this pipe straight to the manifold. And then this will be where the V-band clamp goes. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. If I do that, I could always angle this away from the fuel lines a little bit more too. So yeah, let's get back to it. All right, got the trunk wall side manifold off. Get the light up in here. As you can see, yeah, it was leaking. Uh, this is why you should take your time and do things right, which I do on other people's cars, but for whatever reason, I don't on mine. I mean, you can see right there how it was leaking, and every one of these was leaking. So I got to get this gasket off of the, the head and then put the new gasket in and bolt it back up and it should be, should be a lot better. Probably, I imagine it'll sound a lot better too. Don't be lazy. Don't be like me. Do it the right way. All right, let me get this scraped off of here and get the new gasket on it. Bolt it back together. And then we can do the other side and that's probably going to take a little longer because we got to cut the exhaust and uh, weld around where the flange is and get the v-band and all that set up but i figured i'd knock the easy part out first all right got all the old gasket cleaned off up there so now i can uh, put the new gasket in there Gee, do you think it was leaking? The good thing is that none of it really stuck to the uh, exhaust headers, so I don't have to clean that side. I ran a, uh, some sandpaper over that side just to make sure it was completely clean, but it was mostly leaking on the block side. This is why you don't reuse gaskets, kids. All right. Let's keep going. Well, there you go. That side is back together. Now on to that side, which will be way less fun. Uh, so I guess let's get the car up and we'll cut the exhaust and get the manifold dropped out. 
Not looking forward to this side. Should have done this right the first time, and I wouldn't be doing this. But hey, entertainment for you. Let's get going. Well, got this one off. And it too was leaking, as you can see, especially that one over there. So, I think what I'm gonna do, obviously I gotta clean this off to put the gasket on there. I think I'm gonna pull my um, heat wrap back, see if this is leaking anywhere. If it is, weld it up a little better. And I'm just gonna weld the V-band on there. And the other end right here. And that should work. And then, this thing won't sound so terrible because it has been pretty bad. It's been annoying me. So let's get this cleaned up and then uh, probably put it back in there with the uh, new gasket and then do the V-band once it's up in there. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Easiest and best way. So let's, uh, let's get to that. All right, thought of something. Well, this is all open. I'm gonna take this heat wrap off of here, get these fuel lines down where I can put the new uh, new wrap around them and then get them tied back up here because it'd be a lot easier to do without this exhaust in the way. I've got uh, all the old gasket cleaned off up there, that ready to go back together. Clean that off. Um, I gotta check my weld. So I'm gonna get this done, check my welds on the flange area down there, and then uh, get that reinstalled, and then we can do the V-band. And then I'll be done, and we can go on a drive. V-bands installed, welds aren't the prettiest. It's welded up there, it's bolted back in place. I did the uh, heat wrap on the fuel lines. I just gotta get the uh, heat shield back in under here. And then after that, uh, we can do the other V-band clamp up top. And then we can hear how it sounds. So let me button this up and then I will be back with you. All right, it's back together. Start it up and see how it sounds. So 
Cross Lake. I'm happy with it. it. Sounds a lot better. Only took a couple hours in reality. So, I'll be into this part of the video. I think that uh, next we should take it for a drive. Got to charge up the camera before I do that. So, yeah, let's get it charged up and we'll take it for a little drive and hear how it sounds going down the road.
head back home. Before you'd be able to uh, be able to hear a whole bunch of exhaust leak in here. Now it's quiet.